Boys, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you know by now that the new Armory is out in CS2. There are over 100 new skins, some new stickers, and even gun charms. And today, I'm gonna open one of every single new package that just released. I'll start with the new sticker packages, then I'll move on to the charms, then I'll open each of the four brand new collections. And of course, I'll finish it off with a chance at a Blue Gem Desert Eagle Heat Treated. Take a look at what's considered the number one pattern blue gem right now. This thing looks so good, but do you think it looks as good as the normal case hardened? I'm honestly not sure, but it's pretty much just the CS2 version. I mean, I don't see there being any chance that it ends up costing as much as a normal case hardened blue gem, but who knows? Either way, I'm certain that these blue gems will be worth a pretty penny. So let's get right into it. I'm giving away this Stat Track Factory new Ursus Knife Tiger Tooth when we hit 50,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Before I get into it, today's sponsor SkinSwap wants to sponsor you with a free case. SkinSwap is a trustworthy skin trading website where you can buy, trade, and even sell your skins for real money. They offer a variety of different payout methods and they're also always running giveaways. So if you want a free case, a chance at a knife, and a 40% deposit bonus, sign up with my link in the description today. All right, obviously I have all five of my passes activated. And I actually have exactly 47 of these armory tokens, which is the perfect amount to open one of every single one of these new packages. As you can see, bro, I've been absolutely grinding today. I started at 1 p.m. and I didn't finish until 5.30 and I was going on an absolute tear as well. I mean, look at my scores, 19 and 11, 15 and 6, 10 and 6, 15 and 11, 26 and 17, 17 and 9. And in our loss, I went 21 and 14. All right, first things first, let's open the character craft stickers. You can quite literally mix and match these to make any sort of face you want. The tentacles are pretty funny. I mean, this one's probably my absolute favorite in here. Just the holographic rainbow taste buddy. It's pretty funny, but this one's pretty cool too. I saw this on the new AK over the eyes and it looked sick. All right, I'm gonna quit yapping though. I know you're just here to see the opening. Let's see what I get. First capsule, what's it gonna be? I want to see this one. I know these will probably be worth more. This is probably going to be worth the most in the end. We have no idea, but we going to see. Three, two, one, boom. Sick new animation, by the way. Oh, okay. This one's pretty cool. I mean, it is a blue, so it's definitely not going to be worth that much. I'm going to keep all of these until they are tradable. I'm sure you also probably saw that everything needs to wait seven days before being listed anywhere now. It's not just a trade ban. It's now also a Steam community market ban for seven days, which is kind of annoying, but I guess I understand it. To combat probably scams, fraud, a lot of things. So it's understandable. It's just annoying to us players. It is what it is, though. I don't mind seeing the chompers though let's see what we get from the next one next up are the elemental craft stickers all right these in my opinion are way cooler than these ones bro the character crafts are cool and all but the elemental ones are just dope i mean i really love the look of the red ones dude the lenticular red the wave it looks so sick we've needed new content for so long i know it's annoying to a lot of us that we didn't get any new maps or any gameplay fixes but it is what it is we have to live with what we got and we got some new stickers and skins bro the dgens are happy that's all that matters all right bro i just noticed this sticker as well this is fire i'm sure people will clown this i mean they already clown the lgb and say the lgbtq sticker but like come on surely this would be the lgbtq sticker right so this is probably my favorite sticker that i've seen so far no homo no homo no no homo, no homo. okay yeah this is dope all right, all right i'll quit the yap i'll quit the yap what's it gonna be show me a red please come on oh dude Two blues in a row. I mean, this one's all right. It's new, it's all fresh to me, so it looks good, it's cool. It's like nice to get whatever, but I'd obviously love to see the higher tier stuff. Now let's move on to the charms, bro. First up are the small arms charms. Dude, this Lil Squirt charm is so dope. I don't think it gets any better than this out of all the charms for me. I mean, this golden knife is cool and all. Kind of looks weird, like it's squished almost. Maybe it's playing in 4-3 stretched, but yeah, I don't know. MAC-10 also looks funny. Ooh, it's hollow, bro. That's so sick. I have a feeling I'm going to get a purple in this. So which purple will it be? I'm going to guess this one dude i would love to have this one one of the diamond ones would be sick this would also be dope oh wait yo wait this one might be better than this one hold up i mean the colors on this are sick but 
look this is holographic and it has like the black and white cartoon comic book vibe as well which is so sick this is my new favorite what are we gonna get from this one though let's see it new animation Boom. come on oh wait it is a purple that's pretty sick too it's like a demon tech nine almost uh, hot hands yeah it's like it's like a demonic like hell vibe tech nine that's cool though I was feeling a purple. I'm glad we got a purple. Next up are the missing link charms. All right. I did take a peek at these and this one is by far my favorite, bro. The iced out diamond dog. I read something funny about how they like called these all sausage people, which, which is pretty hilarious. I mean, yeah, look at the little sausage closing on the back. But dude, this diamond one is so sick. Also, this chicken one, bro pretty fire like i would rock that on my skin it's also pretty cool that you can preview them on any of your skins and you can put it wherever i'm glad they made it like that you can literally drag it to any part obviously you can't put it where your hand is which is why it's like glitching over the hand but you can you could literally put it there and then have it in game on the literal bottom and it moves with the gravity which is so sick oh yeah that's the one dude that is the one dude i'm gonna absolutely love seeing all of these new crafts that come out there's gonna be sick crafts with the charms this honestly gave us so much versatility in what we could do with our weapons which is super nice again i'm yapping i'm just loving these new items let's get straight into it what's it gonna be three tokens show me the diamond dog boom come on oh terrible i do not like this one at all she looks so whack i mean yeah totally okay sorry all right that's it for the stickers and the charms now to what you guys are really here for bro let's open all of these new collections we got the gallery case which is kind of sick it's only two tokens then we have the sport and field collection which is four by the way you have probably a one in four thousand or so chance at this m4a1s fade so don't let it fool you also i've been seeing this thing get super overhyped on people's comments I'm not the biggest fan, bro. I don't love when they just overuse a specific skin on a ton of different weapons. I like a few. Like, I like how the print streams on the A1S and the USPS. But I don't think the fade needs to be on all the knives and a bunch of skins. Um, but yeah, then we have the graphic collection, which is super sick. This is probably my new favorite deagle in the game. I'm not going to lie. It is definitely super oo-woo. Um, but dude, the glitter effect on it, so sick. Definitely Valorant inspired. I know people don't like when people have been saying that on comments but like come on this update is certainly at least partially valorant inspired i know valorant was inspired by other games for things like charms and this type of camo but yeah i don't know there's nothing wrong with it i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's definitely true which is okay bro finally we have the overpass collection i really like this ak which is the one where i saw the lenticular eye sticker on and this op's pretty cool i mean the artwork's a bit weird but i do like the bright pink and purple colors this aug super dope bro the eye right here i love these bright colors easily the best skin of them all from this collection the zeus dragon snore bro i've always loved this artwork pretty sure it's on the map over by the park but yeah this thing's beautiful and easily my favorite new collection of them all is the gallery case bro like come on look at these skins first of all look at this blue rarity r8 tango the detail on this is insane you got like the engravings on the wood and on the metal like the cartel dude the rose pattern so beautiful okay this is probably my new favorite r8 skin in the game on top of that bro these dualies are quite easily my favorite dual berettas in the whole game they're literally just water guns and it's sick bro because of cs2 you can literally make it seem like there's water dripping off of them can you see this like the shiny water of course you can it's fucking sick. Also, you guys already know I am a huge Oni Taiji stan. When I saw this MAC-10, I creamed. Look at this thing. You got the Oni artwork here. The Saiba Oni, bro. It is just so nice, dude. Nothing wrong with this thing at all. I absolutely love it. This Glock's also pretty cool. I saw uh, the creator of this tweeting on Twitter as well that they were like so ecstatic that Valve brought this into the game. Of course they are, bro. They're gonna be rich and it's so cool, bro. Having a skin that you created in your favorite game, gotta be an absolutely insane feeling. Absolutely the best skin of the entire armory drop, in my opinion, without a doubt, is this red M4A1S Vaporwave. Look at this thing. You got the statue of the woman, the floral on the purple, like, come on, bro. 
These colors are insane. The design is beautiful. You got the checkerboard pattern on the back of the stock. Like, I, I don't even know what to say about this thing. Whoever created this must have received inspiration from the heavens, bro. This thing is perfect. I'll quit the yap. I know. I just wanted to go over all the cool skins, in my opinion. Let's go straight into the sport and field first. Let's see it. Three, two, one, boom. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's to be expected. This thing's ugly. Um, But yeah, it is what it is. We didn't expect much out of this. Terrible odds. What's it going to be from the graphic collection, though? Let's see it. Please give me this Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle Starcade in three, two, one, boom. Bleh. Like, come on. Terrible luck thus far, but that's going to change right now. Give me something insane out of the Overpass collection. I'm sure this will be worth so much, and I would absolutely love to have one of these. Three, two, one, boom. Come on, mil specker better. Mil specker better. All right. I mean... At least this thing is a little nicer than the other two we got, but I'm also not rocking a Negev. So, eh, no. We just have two things left to go. The brand new case and the Desert Eagle heat treated. Let's go for the case first. I'm pretty sure you also have to buy a key for these, so I'm about to waste two. Oh, I guess it's not a waste, but I'm about to use two of my tokens for the case. I think it's just going to give me the case. Okay, yeah. Glad it didn't give me the skin there. Well, I'm not glad though, because I'm definitely going to have to spend another 250 on this. Yeah. All right. One sec. Let me buy this key. All right. We got the key. It's time to go. Show me the M4A1S Vaporwave. Easily the best skin out of this entire armory drop in three, two, one. Boom. I mean, boom. Come on. Please. We saw the pink go by. Oh, and the purple. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I would have loved to get the dualies. No, bro. We got the topography on the Scar 20, bro ugly skin i did not want to see this bro no luck thus far things have to change here show me a factory new desert eagle heat treated blue gem pattern 490 please please gaben boys it's been a good video if you want to see more unboxings like this drop a like consider subscribing i absolutely love you guys you guys are the reason i can do what i like to do every day day in and out create videos about a literal video game all right let's see it enough yap time to literally get a blue gem three two one boom dude you're you're trolling you're i saw tech savvy open one of these and his was even worse but this is terrible this has got to be what like 0.82 battle scarred i'm guessing 0.82 battle scarred maybe well warrants a little bit of blue 0 0.600 battle scarred are you trolling i don't want my limited edition item bro i'm throwing this thing in the garbage a little color never hurt anyone there's no color here there's absolutely no color here. I'm getting trolled. I just wasted six hours for nothing, bro. But it's okay. I will be back. As you can see, I haven't fulfilled a lot of these levels and gotten near close to the amount of tokens I can. And what I'm going to do with the remaining is open as many gallery cases as possible. I did the math. I think that's going to be like between 75 and 80 of them. So stay tuned for that video. Drop a like and make sure to sub if you want to see it. Oh, and by the way, I'm starting to stream soon on Twitch. Check out the link in the description. Go follow. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.